It's all about the greatest, the biggest, most historic, most divisive socio-political game of football played on planet Earth since Noah was building his ark. El Clasico. Why do you think they went in two by two? Half of the animals were merengues and the other half were blaugrana. Had to be a good referee, that Noah lad. Virtually every classic or played has had its own unique set of subplots, its own special dynamics with a specific topical nature defined by the current form of the clubs, their coaches' successes or their struggles, injuries, the point differential, and of course the tensions and expectations of the respective fan bases. This classic or ticks all of those boxes then. We will have a showdown looming at the Camp Nou Corral where the footballing gunslingers will be eyeballing each other knowing full well that there's more at stake than just the three points. Unquestionably though, it's FC Barcelona who's under the biggest pressure to grab the points. If my science teacher was right and pressure really does make diamonds, Barca's locker room after this game will be like an Aladdin's cave. But recently, they've been more like lumps of coal. So some serious carbon adjustment is urgently required. Barca have been misfiring like Phil Shane's old sob, as coordinated as Herman Munster on roller skates, under a coach who looks like he's directing traffic in Manhattan rush hour. Many new signings have been unconvincing. The goalkeeper looks as nervous as a Greek banker. Zinedine Zidane's Madrid have suffered even more injuries and yet have rode the wave like a Hawaiian surfer, mushrooming their belief in one another. They've been fortunate on the way, but any luck has come by way of committed application and drive. So now we have the unbeatable force, travelling to beat a very movable object by the looks of it. But on Saturday at 10.15 Eastern on BN Sports, expect the unexpected. That's why they call it El Clasico. Get in.